I'm going to show you those in this video. And let's see if we can do a quick tour of the ones that I have. So this is the screen protector that I've put on and you do have to get this so that you don't leave any marks on um, your screen and that it stays clean. I'll be leaving the link to that in the description if you're interested. Now, usually when you go into your console, when you push it open, all you see is a deep, dark hole. Nobody wants to go down there. Well, you can put a few items there, but this accessory allows you not only just to put items down there, but on this top level as well. You may want to put your hand sanitizer, variety of items. Sometimes when you're on a, a long trip as well, you may even want to just put your wallet there just to hold it down there so that you don't have it in your back pocket. That's what you choose to do. So that's a must have this accessory for the model three. And it still allows you to close everything seamlessly. There we have it. Also, we see this, we have our cup holder. Usually your cups or your items do not fit in so good. You notice that usually when you put your cups in, they kind of wiggle, move around. Now, once you place this in, once you put your cup in, it's a perfect fit. So this is the perfect fit cup holder. I'll have the links to that. And it has a little compartment. This could be used, uh, you can even use for like little pieces of trash if you wanted to. Um, I don't really like to carry trash around my car, uh, even if it's a little bit, but, and this could easily be rinsed out. You just take the whole item out, rinse it out in the sink and uh, must have Go get it. Uh, another item here is actually right here. You see the console here. We have our hand sanitizer, our wipes to wipe down things. And we also have our tissue. And it looks like a regular compartment, right? This did not come with the car. Uh, but we do see the opening there. Just going to go down and there you see the your lighter to charge any item. But if you take this out, there you notice there's more compartments there. So it's it's like a two levels now. And so you can put your items down in there. And this is a definitely a must. You wanna make sure you have this so that you um, don't just have a lot of stuff thrown down there one of my other items i actually bought these items in a bundle but if you want to just buy them separately i'll have both options um i'll put the bundle first down in the link below this is our secret compartment so say you have keys or you have another stash of hand sanitizer that you want to put down there and um it's a secret compartment. I call it the 007 compartment. There we These are the mats that I went with. Uh, as regards to uh, this here, uh, this did not come with the vehicle either. I actually made this. I like the way it's designed. If you wanna know how I made that, the link for that would be up up top so you can go check that out easily cleaned off
Let's open up the trunk as well. Your cleaning solution. This is a no rinse. So what you basically do is, with this here, for cleaning your, your car, you can fill this top up halfway and you just use one gallon of, uh, of water. And you can actually clean your car at home in about 10 minutes. I'll have the link to that as well. And so this is what your Tesla looks like when you first get it. Nothing is in the trunk, no protection. And this is what it looks like after you place in your mats. I have mats not only in the back, but also in the front. In the trunk, we have a mat down here as well. These are just some of the items that you will be using that are essential, such as your windshield wiper fluid. So very inexpensive, as well as your squeegees. These are very important because when you clean your car, majority of the car is actually glass because glass runs all over the top of the vehicle. So you wanna be able to wipe off that water and clean the windows as well. So that's just one important piece. These pieces are very important. These caps are to be used when you wanna take off your hubcaps. Uh, you will lose a little bit of mileage as well. Uh, we do have a video that shows you exactly how to put those on. Uh, so that will be linked below. And then you're gonna make sure you have your repair kit. That is essential. And as you notice as well, uh, this is the air pump. I got it the same color as the vehicle. And it's just a 12 volt. Now notice as well, you have these uh, caps here. Uh, they're like little hockey pucks, uh, which you put underneath your car so you don't damage your battery. And it's pretty much an easy fit. But notice here is where you would put it in, just right there. And as regards to another option that you may wanna have when you are um, outside, just in any car, Uh, this is a flashlight you put it under your head just in case you have a flat or so mud flaps are something that you may want to think about getting on your car if you do have winter months in the area that you live or if you travel a lot we're actually going to be installing them right now so let's take a look at the before and after now the front of the car it does not have a location to put your license plate so when you do get your car from tesla it's going to be located just right here on the bumper what i decided to do is just to get a plate so that i can hold my own license plate i have a pretty inexpensive one, but I'm gonna put the more expensive one down in the description box below as well. So go out, get this if you do need one for the front. When it comes to jumping off your car, one thing that you wanna keep in mind is if your battery dies completely, you cannot put it in drive or in neutral. So you're gonna to have to jump the 12 volt battery in the front. This is the jumper that I would use and notice as well the digital multimeter that I, you can have for your vehicle. These will be linked below. This is the cover that you can use as well for your level one charger. And you're traveling, you want to make sure that you use your level one charger, which we see here. Now the level one charger needs to be covered at night especially if you're staying uh, outside or you're parking your car outside, it's best to cover it uh, with what we see here. 
This is going to protect it from any animals that may uh, desire to bite it. That's happened to me in the past. The cats, I guess they can sense that there's a current going through there. Maybe they think it's some type of animal and they begin to bite it. So this will protect your car. And what I like to do as well is have a cone uh, connected. So when the car is left outside, I actually put this around the cone. And this piece here, it's a very simple piece that goes and covers uh, the charging unit so that rain uh, does not get inside of it. So a very important piece to pick up. This here could be placed over the top here, like so. And so now you have your charging unit. It'll be left outside temporarily. And so this little cap here, I just got from the hardware store to cover the top of your cone. So you have something that you can just leave out, but this cover right here is just gonna protect it for you. For phones, this is a good phone holder. It fits on the left side of your Tesla and it fits in seamlessly. You see how the color matches perfectly with the car. So you just snap it right in and you're good to go. Uh, your phone will be able to fit in there uh, seamlessly and it's very easy to take it out and put it back in. As you notice, uh, it fits in just like a glove. Your cord would just run right underneath the steering wheel. Now this phone holder runs under $30 and I think it's a perfect fit for the Model 3. It's been a perfect fit for me. If you want to check it out, go get it. Links below. Keep in mind your controller is something that you want to have when you're supercharging or when you're waiting on someone that's in the store, such as your roommate, your mate, um, family member. It's good to have this so that you can uh, play a few of the games here. They have Sonic the Hedgehog, which requires a controller. Also, they have Beach Buggy Racing 2. So pick up your controller, don't leave it at home, and enjoy your smooth ride in your Tesla. So cowboys and cowgirls, we hope you enjoy your Tesla. If you are ordering a newer one, more than likely it's going to be coming from the Gigafactory in Texas. And so, hence the name cowboys and cowgirls and their accessories. We hope that you found the accessories that you needed in this video. Please feel free to let us know if you have any questions. And if you want to learn more about the 4680 batteries, which will be coming from the new Gigafactory, please notice the video at the end of this video so we can continue the conversation in regards to that battery. And we're getting close to 100 subscribers. So if you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. And if you have any questions, let us know. We'll catch you in the next video.